You're listening to Outdoor Travel Radio, and it's time for Happy Hour. In this episode, we're going to talk about the things you need to let go. Hey everyone, this is Rob, and today I'm going to talk about the 10 things to let go of to be happy. Yep, the 10 things to let go of to be happy. The very first one, you ready? Let go of the toxic people in your life. Toxic people. Uh, <laughs> if you got someone who's probably taking you down or telling you to go party with them or all that stuff, those guys really can. They love to take you down. So, number one, get rid of them toxic people. Number two, let go of regretting past mistakes regretting past mistakes and I know all of us do that so we could have turned left instead you went right whatever but I think really it's time to live for the now quit dwelling on the past quit re regretting past mistakes number three ready let go of the need to be right <laughs> like I know so many people like that. The need to be right. <laughs> if uh, sometimes you just need to zip it. <laughs> um, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody can be in error. Some people need to make their own mistakes. And sometimes somebody else's idea will work out just as fine as yours. So remember, number three, let go of the need to be right. Moving on. Number four, let go of the feeling sorry for yourself. <laughs> Say that again. Let go of feeling sorry for yourself, which uh, I get in that mode too. It's almost like depression. Uh, you watch, uh, you know, Facebook's really famous for that. You look at everybody on Facebook and you say, oh my God, their life's so much better than mine. And you got to remember, it's just, you're just seeing a picture. If you took a picture of something good that went on five, ten minutes of your life, it wouldn't be hard to do. So everybody would think, oh, that's just their life all the time. Well, it's not true. But you got to move forward. You just can't sit there and say, I feel sorry for myself. You need to be grateful, move forward. Other people's lives are not more interesting than yours. Your life is just as important. Moving on. That brings me to number five. Let go of the negative self-talk. So quit taking yourself down. Quit criticizing yourself. Really, you're, you look in the mirror. You go, you are one heck of a great person. And... It's easy to get knocked around. It's easy to take, hear all this negative stuff. But you sure in heck shouldn't be coming from you. you got to learn to like yourself. So, like yourself first. Stop being negative about yourself. Next. Number six. Let go for the need to impress others. <laughs> uh, that's easy. Uh, the Joneses, you know how that goes. So, uh, you know, I, I, you know, like, for example, I have an RV and I, I buy a new RV and I think I really got a great RV. And then you take it to an RV park and you park it. And then the next person that pulls next to you has got a newer and nicer one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just, it, it, you just can't win the battle. So be happy with what you got. Number seven. This one means a lot to me. Uh, it's kind of like if you study paradigms or paradigm shifting we all have kind of a a belief system so number seven is let go of limiting your beliefs and uh, that comes from opening your mind taking a chance once in a while gamble on your life don't exactly have all the answers try something new but don't get caught up in just this is how things should always be just stop limiting what you believe. Um, if someone's living a life that doesn't meet your standards, 
open up and say, well, is it really that bad a life just because they're doing something different? So remember that one. Let go of limiting your beliefs. Number eight. Let go of the need to please everyone. So if you're going to be happy, you got to like yourself, but you also got to quit wondering what everybody else is thinking about you. You just need to live your life, not others. And you know, everybody out there's got an opinion. You need to shut it down, ignore it. Maybe look at it as constructive feedback, but don't let it drive you. Which now brings me to number nine. Let go of gossip and complaining. So that's on your side. Don't be part of that. Don't gossip about others and stop complaining. It really all starts with you. This moment is be grateful for what you have now. Live a happy life. Things will start turning your way when you're grateful for where you are today and moving forward. And that's like a law of attraction thing. So stop the gossiping. Stop the complaining. Which now brings us to dun, 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 number 10. You ready? This one's the hardest. Let go of worrying about the future. And I'm probably the worst because I'm a visionary. So that just drives me crazy. I'm just play scenarios through your head over and over and over and over and, 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 and trying to make sure you can manipulate the future. And it can apply to activities. It can apply to your life. It can apply to your retirement. And you got to get to a point of like, well, when I'm, I'm just going to do this. And yes, it may not result exactly the way you want it in the future. But you can't worry about it. Because when you get to that future, you'll be just fine. And you'll make the proper decisions you need at the time. So... The big one there, number 10, stop worrying about the future. Well, I'm Rob Scribner, and that was my happy hour this week. Hope that was helpful to you. Stay tuned next week, and we'll have some more great stuff for you. Have a great day, and thanks for listening to Outdoor Travel Radio. Bye now.